and gentlemen, this is the moment all of us are waiting for. Are we ready? Are we ready? Very well, this is the much anticipated bantam which contest over six rounds. And this is the day we are waiting for. Judges for this bout, Judge 1, Richard Gade. Judge 2, Daniel Ablemete. And Judge 3, David Nete. Now introducing the boxer fighting out from the blue corner. This evening spotted in the blue trunks with white trimmings and the man with yellow gloves and red shoe to match. And this is the man who is coming from the Atokwashi Boxing Gymnasium here in Accra. At his corner side, I can see former national chum and former African chap Obuda Sai. This is the boxer with a weight of 119.70 pounds with the official record of four fights, no defeat, no draw, four wins. And all the wins came by way of knockout. A former African number one best boxer as an amateur boxer. And this is the man who is also known to be called a scientific. The man who was born and bred right here at Kolegono. Presenting to you the boxer, Akimus. I know. Now switching over to the red corner. And this is one of the finest boxers Ghana has ever produced. And as we speak now, he is the current national super bantamweight champion of Ghana. And this is the man with the weight of 121 pounds. And this is the man with the official record of eight fights, no defeat, no draw, eight wins, five of the wins came by way of knockout under the tutelage of the man who has once upon a time produced a world champion for Ghana, coach, coach of Bronze Boxing Gymnasium, the man, Carl Loco. Now presenting to you, the boxer. Daniel Gosh. And the man in charge of the fight is Nathaniel Nikwe. Getting ready for the next bout. Okay, guys, you know the rules. We'll Final set of instructions will be command. issued fight by hard, Nathaniel Nikwe, the close. referee. So Daniel Gosh from the Bronx Boxing Gym, current national champion, taking round on uh, Akimus one. Ananampia. Here we go, that's round one. Akimus getting himself busy trying to work in the inner part of uh, Gosh. Daniel Gosh in white trunks. And both boxers have a go at each other once again, showing their durability. Again, hefty punches landed by Gosh. Akimus will use his long reach to keep himself out of trouble. Again, good body shots. Two shots to the head of Akimus by Gosh. Prince, that was a massive three combinations there from Daniel Gosh. Really impressive. In this first round, Daniel Gosh. Looks like at this point, skill wise, it looks like a Gosh is a, a bit ahead of uh, Akimo, skill wise. So, in terms of uh, speed and skill, it looks like uh, 
uh, coach is a notch, a notch above uh, Akimos, but let's see how it, it will pan out. So far, he has landed the cleaner flash punches in this first round. Daniel Goss, they call him the Emperor. The only other boxer from Ghana to have had that nickname was a good old uh, Raymond Nah. Gosh doing well, trying to trade in some quality punches. Akimus lands one to the head of Gosh. Gosh quickly retaliates with a couple of power punches of his own. Again, good flurry of punches. Gosh gets himself out of the way. Prince, I must say, Akim good head movement there from Daniel Gosh. These fighters. Seconds out. So far, I must say, Round Prince, this is one two. of the fights that is going to build for this fight night too. Without a doubt. I mean, this is the national champion. Gosh is also trained by one of Ghana's finest in Carl Loco. Yeah. He obviously comes into the ring with a lot of rich experience, but also some quality boxing as well. This is not the first time we've seen Daniel Gosh in action, and certainly we will not be the last. Mm, yeah. Quick trip there from Akimos, nearly walked out of sight, but keeping the pressure on. And especially with the, with the quality of the punches that they are throwing, these clearly are two bantam weights who have an eye for success in the future. Gosh tries to open up once again, works on the body of Akimus. Akimus tries to get one back. It's the trading of the punches now. Gosh still pummeling Akimus in the neutral corner. They're still working, having a go at each other. Akimus seems to be in trouble. It's Daniel Gosh keeping the momentum. Works to the body of Akimus. Gosh is really making Akimos pay there. His punch selection is really, really effective. And there goes Akimos. Seeing if he can get into the inside game with Gosh. And there Gosh goes again. With a punch selection. Akimos was really dazed there. Gosh is really exhibiting some boxing technicalities here in the Bukom Boxing Arena. What a flurry of punches. Akimu sta still stands tall. I think he's taking a dose of the punishment that can be meted out by uh, Daniel Gosh. That was a swift uppercut cut there from Daniel Gosh. And those bolo punches from Gosh uh, having a toe on uh, Akimos, uh, they are really breaking down his body. Those bolo punches, those uh, half hooks, half uppercuts. To the body of Akimosa really breaking him down in boxing they say break down the body and the head will follow there goes gosh with those bolo punches Akimos might be a bit stunned but gosh might also be feeling the heat yeah gosh is feeling the heat but I must say Akimos is the boxer who is in trouble because when you look at the kind of punches that Gosh has landed on him, he's feeling the heat. But there they goes again, the give and take. And look at Gosh goes again, that two double uppercut from Daniel Gosh. Wow! And the fans are loving it. Daniel Gosh on the wheel. Seconds out. It looks to be the quicker Round of the two. And uh, three. his speed and quickness is really helping him a lot in this fight. Round number three, but it looks like we fought like five rounds already. Yeah, it's been one of the cleanest and by far one of the most exciting bouts we've had uh, on fight night two. Daniel Gosh comes out all guns blazing and is almost always ready to trade punches with Akimos. Prince, one thing I've noticed about Daniel Gosh, 
He is a very, very effective counter puncher. Look at that. That was an uppercut that Akimos didn't see coming. And look at that, Sam Gold. He has some incredible head movement. That is making things difficult for Akimos to land a clean punch. Good boxing there from Daniel Gosh. And the rope was his undoing over there. He, he tried to step back and then land a bolo punch, but the ropes held back his right hand. Daniel goes in the driving seat at this point. Daniel goes in the black and white trunks. Akimus Ananampia, a former black bomber in the blue and white trunks, fighting out of the Atokwashi boxing gym. Sam go look at that leg movement from Daniel Gosh. He makes sure he used the jab to pave way so With he can land that hook and crossover. Excellent upper body movement. Reminds me of Canelo Alvarez. Exactly, my brother. The ginger man. <laughs> Very good defensive skills by Daniel Gosh, but Akimus just keeps coming forward. Relentless attack from Akimuth Ananampia. He knows he is in a fight tonight. That was some good job selection there from Akimos. He landed a couple of jabs on the face of Daniel Gosh. But Daniel Gosh retaliates without body shot. And NY, sometimes it looks like Daniel Gosh is uh, ready to receive some pity party punches just to land his own big ones. Yeah, and that game plan has really paid off. And once in the head, and once in a while, he lays on the neck of his opponent just to weaken him further. Some veteran skills from Daniel Gosh. Very out. school wise fighter. Round four. It is Daniel Gosh versus Akimos in the Bantam Way division. Round four. It's the fourth round scheduled for six. Is Gosh, Daniel Gosh in the uh, white trunks against Akimus Ananampia in the uh, blue trunks. Just as the bout started in round one, it's almost always a give and take affair. Both boxers ready to give and ready to receive. Prospects such as Daniel Gosh give a lot in terms of desire, in terms of aspiration. And again, in terms of keeping hope alive for a future world title. And it looks like uh, Akimos is uh, really landing a few punches. Uh, in this very round, Gosh's defense seems to be flawed. I don't know if it, I should say Akimos is now getting into his rhythm, but it seems now his punches are those, landing. Those head movements and uh, elusiveness from Gosh seems to be waiting at this point, allowing Akimos to land uh, more often than he has done in previous rounds wow look at daniel Gosko again quick combination of uh, 
punches from Daniel Gosh. Power and precision at his best in the bantamweight category. And it's all put together by the kind courtesy of IMAX Boxing Promotions in partnership with the Ghana Boxing Authority. Look at the two boxers go. That was a smart way from Daniel Gosh. He sensed danger and he just moved away. Again, a quick caution from our referee. At this point, I feel Daniel Gosh shouldn't fall for what Akimos is bringing on board. He should just stick to his job establishment. It's uh, boxing artistry in the ring, clearly. No matter the result, has really Round lived up to his feeling. Five. Yeah, I second you with that, Sam Gold. Fifth round of the basket for six. Bantamway contest between Daniel Gosh in the white trunks. And Ananampia in the blue. Look at the quality of the punches. And three straight left hooks to the jaw of Akimos, and he's still in there fighting. Wow. Akimos, Ananampia. What a good team. And he's still marching forward, throwing and landing. A quick flurry from a gorge, and he quickly escapes. Trying to draw rings around Akimos. But Akimos goes in for a clinch. What about? That's a smart way from Daniel Gorge to regain his power and energy. And look at that head movement from Daniel Gosh. Look at that. And Gosh is just throwing around with Akimos at this point. Landing at will. Toying his opponent and making his opponent pay anytime he gets into his pocket. Daniel Gosh. What a beauty to watch. Such a fighter he is. Making an established fighter like Akimosa look so bewildered in the ring. But Akimosa is still in there, punching, coming forward, landing. What a warrior he is. He has a good chin, some good, if I must say. Akimos. Both fighters selling a veritable blockbuster to us tonight. Formidable foes in there. Akimos, Ananampia, Daniel Selassie goes the Emperor. It is bronze him against Akutoku. And Akimos landed a, a big right hand over there, making Daniel Gosha step back. Wide miss from Akimos. Look at Akimos' face, he's breathing heavily there. At this point in time, you can see their energy level has And somewhere dropped. in the stands, you can see Felix Alvaro Ajom, John Lai, Jacob Dixon. They are all rooting for their stablemate, Daniel Gosh. These are the kind of bouts we want to see on the local scene. We want to see our fighters being tested before they go out there. So, let me remind all of us here is that it's a big round. This is round number six. Keenly contested this bout. Akimus in blue and uh, Daniel Gosh in white. Sixth of the scheduled eight rounder here this evening. Fans have been kept at the edge of their seats. Quality boxing from such durable boxers.
But of course, over the years, Ghana has uh, showed that in the bantamweight category or the bantamweight division, some crack, some crack boxes are in line for glory. Yeah, for the lives of uh, Joseph King Kong Agbeko, Isaac, the Royal Storm Dogbe, these guys competed in the Bantamweight category at various points in their careers. And they indeed did Madagana proud. Solid punching by these two boxers. How close the fight is will definitely be, be, be determined at the end of the eighth and the last round when the uh, judges put their cards together. Good body shots once again from Akimos. Akimos is trying to punish Daniel Gosh. Referee had to step in there for no unclear reason. From the beginning of the fight up to now, it's been Akimus who's been doing the predator advancing he's spoken to Second by coach out. Carl Loco round set for round seven. seven so it's around seven of the bantam weight clash between Daniel Salasi Gosh and Akimos and an Ampia. Good two combination of punches landing clean for Daniel Gosh. Daniel Gosh, he won the national super bantamweight title fighting against uh, experienced uh, George Crumper. And as Sam Gold, in the international level, we have one of our own, Richard Oblite Kome, fighting up against Jose. The rope really saved Daniel Gosh there. <laughs> but as I was saying, in the international boxing, we have Richard Kome taking up Jose Carlos Ramirez in the super lightweight division. Jose Carlos Ramirez is a former unified 140 world champion. And as Richard, we know the former lightweight world champion. They'll be going at it, making sure, being a patriotic person, I'm going in for Richard Comey to win that fight over Jose Carlos Ramirez. And also in the same international bout, we have in the super middleweight, it is David Benavides going up with Caleb Plant, Sam Gold. That fight, I hear there is a bad blood and, and it's going to be a grudge fight between these fighters in the name of David Benavides. Serious, serious matchup. And Caleb Plant. Who are serious. you going for? Ah, uh, can't tell for now unless the battle is <laughs> over, but for now... We have a fight on our hands. Telasi Gosh, Akimos, Ananampia. Hot exchanges right there. And I love the upper body movement of Gosh. Very skillful fighter. And Akimos comes marching forward. 
he says his motto forward ever backwards never that should be the motto of Akimos Ananampia Sam he, I must say Akimos have some good chain he's been coming forward even though he's receiving volume of punches from Daniel Gosh second out eight and the final round It's the eighth and the final round. The final three minutes of explosion. Oh, that was a rocket one there. Big surprise. That really caused Daniel Gosh there. He needs to be careful. It's the final round and anything can happen in the ring. Both boxers have exerted a lot of energy, especially in the early rounds. And so a lot of uh, cons conservation of uh, energy. Daniel Gosh has been quick on his feet. And, uh, he's avoided a lot of the uh, crushing blows that have come from Akimus. But let's give Akimos the credit. I mean, he's been on top of his uh, of his style and his technique. Kept coming forward right from uh, round one. One word I'll give to Akimos is that he's a durable fighter. He has a good chain. Because looking at the volume of punches that Daniel Gosh has unleashed on him, and he's still coming forward to fight, he's a durable fighter. Indeed. A hefty ride hand to the face of Akimos. He takes that very well. There Daniel Gosh goes again with a job establishment. Then he goes in his stance, his favorite stance, making sure Akimos takes in that bait he's calling him for. Prince Akimos has been marching forward all night long. He is indeed a warrior. Yeah. Land Daniel, one on Gosh. But Daniel Gosh is making him have some difficulties reaching him. Akimos is coming forward though, but if he can really get something, land something clean on Daniel Gosh. somehow Daniel Gosh tried to toy his opponent. Yeah, somebody tell Gosh this is the final round. You better go all out and win this fight in the final round. What are you conserving energy for? I think he's telling Akimos to come in his pocket so that he can give it all. No, I mean, the fight was still up for ground until the final bell. And you have to make sure that... Now, we have the verdict. Shall we once again put our hands together for the two pugilists? Now, by the Ken Kedese of IMAX Boxing Promotions, Ghana Boxing Authority, We've come your way with this very exciting fight. Now we have the verdict. Judge one, Richard Gatte, scored about 80 to 74. Judge two, Daniel Nete, scored about 79 to 73. Judge number three, Daniel M. Liberty. Scored about 79 to 73 by a unanimous point decision. Presenting to you the winner from the bronze boxing gymnasium, Daniel Gosh. Very well 
so Daniel, Daniel, Daniel Gosh, Daniel, let me, let me have Daniel. Daniel, congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, how do you feel? Yeah, I feel good. And first of all, I want to give thanks to God and my opponent for giving me this kind of opportunity to fight with him. They are afraid of me. They don't want to fight me. And I thank Anand Pia for giving me good a fight. And first of all, I want to give thanks to God. Now, you are the national super bantamweight champion. Sure. You've won a fight today. So what are we looking forward to see in you? Yeah, first of all, I want to give thanks to my coach. Everybody, everybody know him, our best in training boxers. And we are, me and my coach and my team, we are going to sit down so that we will look forward for the next thing. Thank you very much. Now, what message do you have for your fans? Speak in Ghana. Yeah, first of all, uh, the fans are meet up. Mr. Wanga, on our incoming uh, MP of the DODO. Daddy, I thank you very much for coming here. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank, you. thank you very much. Now, this is one of the finest boxes. Today is the first defeat that he has tasted as a professional boxer after five fights in a. In a in what a thing. Naka, energy, one of the best fights in here ever since we've started the boxing league. Menergy, one of the best fights. Congratulations. Thank you. Obiane, how do you feel about this fight? Me, in a way, she no money can no can be no aim. In a way, to my aim, she score now, me score le is bad. Okay, so are you calling for a refight? Okay, I feel a re refight, man. Oh, that refight. It was me the message to all fans out there. Me the fans here, she feel I'm 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 about what me next time le way. Thank you very much.